Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Tuesday, August the 23rd, 2016. All right, getting right into it here. It seems that we need to ask a question. Does the Fed have everybody shook? I think that's a good question because the markets don't know what to do at this point. Everyone is afraid to go outside to the playground because the bully, i.e. the Fed, is outside waiting on the jungle gyms, threatening to punch any little kid in the face who doesn't come up off that lunch money. What's up, man? Come on. People, you know the Fed can't raise rates. I don't care how much jawboning they do. They can't raise rates. The day that they raise the rates is the day the Dow loses a thousand points and it won't be a flash crash. It will just be a thousand points shaved off as punishment for the Fed raising the rates. And that's just how it is. Even if the Dow were to fall a thousand points, that's still not a crash. It's only 17,000. The Dow is at 17,000 for like forever I came in here you know doing videos still I guess the Dow was around what 10 12 thousand back in 08 I'm I can't remember right now I'm tired it's late in the day so what you get the point so right now the Dow can fall 5,000 points all right and still be incredibly high that's how much liquidity has been pumped into the system. An insane amount of money. I'm here to tell you that all the money still has not trickled into the system. It takes the Fed a long time for that money to trickle into the system. Whenever they lower interest rates, it's a big you know, shot in the arm of adrenaline to the market. But it takes a while for it to trickle down into the whole economy of, of markets it takes a while I'm, I'm serious so that's why you've been seeing the market still you know melt up a few years back I, I don't know if it was 2013 or 2014 uh, I, I, I did it live on the wide awake news show with Charlie McGrath the late great Charlie McGrath and I warned everyone, this is back when the Dow was crashing and everyone was calling, saying the sky was falling and woe in the end of the world. And I came on his show and said, stop the presses. You're about to see the grandfather of all bull markets. You have not seen the highs. You're going to see bull market to make the 1990s bull market look tame. I said that. Well, where are you today? The Dow is hitting all-time highs. It was just posted today. CNBC said that the NASDAQ composite hit a new all-time high. There's so many games that are being played with the people right now. It's not even funny. First of all, the NASDAQ did not hit an all-time high. It did not. That's the NASDAQ composite that they're putting in front of your face. But it's not the NASDAQ 100. We can start jumping up and down and throwing a party when the NASDAQ 100 hits a new all-time uh, all high. All right? It needs to break 5,000. The NASDAQ composite, okay, fine. Hit 5,200, no problem. All right? The NASDAQ composite is like the Dow Jones Industrial Average. All right? So what? It's that 100 that needs to do something. The QQQ. All right? That's the real tech sector right there. Let that let that hit 5,000. Then we can say something. But until then, the NASDAQ 100 has not gotten back up again. It's the only one that has not gotten back up again. S&P, new highs. Dow, new highs. Even the Russell, new highs. But not that NASDAQ 100. No way. The NAS crack. Apple, DAC, whatever you want to call it, it is not doing it. It's at 4,800 now, but that's still 200 points away. All right? And this needs 200 more points. So 
what am I saying to you on this day, August the 23rd of 2016? This crash that everyone has been crying about, talking about, chiming in about, writing articles about, all right, climaxing over mentally, emotionally, financially. Fine, you want your collapse? You got your collapse, all right? Fine, you got it. You can have it. But guess when it's coming? Your collapse will happen after the NASDAQ 100 hits new all-time highs. Once the NASDAQ 100 breaks 5,000, you can have your little collapse. But even then, it's not going to be a collapse because you just heard me tell you a few minutes ago the Dow can fall 5,000 points and still be incredibly bullish. That would only put it down to 12, 13,000. Come on, man. How is that a crash? Yeah, it's 5,000 points, but it's nothing. To nothing. We can say the word crash. See, we have to define terms. When you say crash, we are talking about Dow 800. That's a crash. If the Dow drops below a thousand, then that's a, that's a crash. We need to get back to the 1980s and 1970s Dow. <laughs> then you can say that's a crash. Then I'll agree with you. I'll say, yeah, yeah, that, that was some crash. Mm. Dow 800. All right. If that's not if that's not what's going to happen, then there's no crash. Every drop in the market will be viewed as a pullback or a correction and an opportunity to get long. I'll tell you what will happen if the Dow were to cr crash 5,000 points tomorrow. It would make the billionaires of this earth even richer. They will come, then they will become trillionaires. They wouldn't be billionaires anymore. They'd be trillionaires. Because then they would take all the financial resources they have left and buy that Dow at 800 because they know the next day it's going to go from 800 back to 15, I mean, sorry, 18,000. So they'd be like, ooh, we bought the low, the all-time lows, and look, here we are at all-time highs. You suckers, you sold in panic, and we bought everything. You idiots. That's why I'm telling you there is no collapse. All right. I'm off my soapbox into the video. Seven minutes into it. I am so sorry. I monologued for seven minutes. Looking at your Bitcoin inside, inside day. Nothing to talk about. Nothing to see here. The Fed has everyone afraid to go to the playground. And what can I say? When the big, strong, muscle-bound kid is kicking sand in your face, it makes it difficult to play duck, duck, goose around the jungle gyms, doesn't it? Well, that's what's happening right here. Stalled out. You're pulse waving, though. You're in a positive pulse wave situation here. You're nice. You're, you're well supported down here. But the market isn't really doing much. Um, it still needs to prove itself here and gain some kind of footing to, to best this 600. Need a close above 600 to say that the downtrend is over in the Bitcoin alright so just wanted to put that out there alright let's move on alright switching our focus now to uh, the US dollar alright as you can see here the US dollar is negative pulse waving now it is dropped below the supports and as you can see it's trading it's like an inside day or inside a week so far no real acceleration or continuation pattern just taking a breather here deciding what it wants to do waiting to hear from the fed overhead resistance is at 97.54 and right now uh, we don't have any support looking for support right now oversold but locking in so not looking good the fed is going to need to intervene again soon to prevent this thing from dropping all the way below 90. All right, looking here at your crude oil. Uh, crude oil is in a positive pulse wave situation now, trying its best to <clears throat> excuse me break above 50, and it probably will do so despite the pullback. Uh, so those of you that uh, subscribe to the uh, weekly pulse wave price triggers, definitely check your sheet. Uh, for the um, the price inflection point on this crude oil because right now it's looking like it's going to take out the 
82 price inflection point and that should put us around 52 53 and change possibly before the week is even out so keep your eyes and ears open for that that is a possibility moving forward in the crude oil all right looking at the uh the gold futures now flat nothing really happening there's there's really no selling there's really no buying it's just holding on right now people have bought and they're holding there's really been no real true accumulation on the paper side of things we're not talking about physicals we're talking about paper people so don't panic we're talking about paper right now paper market is quiet all right nothing happening here all right there's no there's no panic button to press um, I know about the uh, crash alerts uh, that have occurred but we don't see anything manifesting at this time there is no crash alert in the gold futures and there's no crash alert in the silver futures so the metals do not have the crash alerts so don't look to the metals to, to drive your uh, miners prices at this time all right, looking here at the uh, the silver future. Silver futures is a little bit different here. Silver now has you know really pulled back. You know, not even a 61.2 percent retracement, 61.8. You're looking more of a 50 percent retracement because here's your move here from that initial thrust back in here, and then you pull back to here. I mean, all you've done is move 50 percent of the move. Boom, here, boom here, boom here. You are here. That's it. All right, nothing to panic about, but be very careful of 1948. 1948 in the silver futures. Be very careful. If that is if that is taken out, 21 is where we're headed. All right. So eyes and ears open on that one. Market's well supported at 1802. All right, looking at your GLD. GLD same thing as the gold futures well supported at 123.60 and just holding it's still green on the screen all right look at your SLV you can see it's just like the futures except for you have a gap to deal with here so the fact that you have a gap to deal with and the fact that this is oversold yeah this gap should probably be, be filled uh, if not by Friday you know sometime shortly thereafter and look out for 1851 if 1851 is taken out, it's going to easily push past 19 and get up to 20, 21 and with no problem. And that's where you're headed. All right, looking at your GDX. Okay, gold miners here. Okay, here's our situation. Where, where, What are we looking at right now? All right, this market has strong support at 2856. So far, we hit 2898. All right, so you're still supported right now. All right, you're still supported. So nothing to panic about on this one. All it did was hit the oversoldness, but it didn't extend into it. And so right now, this one is still safe. You're not in a negative pulse wave situation yet. But if you want to be a coward and you're afraid and you want to lock in some profit, then by all means, you're going to need to pretty much um, put your put your stop in at 2898 because chances are it's probably going to best it and then reverse and go back up again and I would be careful of 2987 if 2987 is taken out this is going to 32 real fast so trade it the way you want to trade it but those in the trading room the black ops trading room you know how we get down and you know exactly where the pulse waves are and you know exactly how we're going to treat this one and what we're going to do and if you have any questions get at me in the room and we'll we'll go through uh you know the scenarios and how we going how we going to do this one but also make a note too those of you who um I like to call you my uh my conservatives those of you who who use the conservative aspects of the pulse waves you know from the conservative aspect you're already short 
and you've already picked up a few pennies in this one and you close the day and the money hint hint wink wink you know who I'm talking about you know the sheet you have you have the pulse wave price triggers you probably want to go ahead and at least move your stop to lock in a few pennies or what have you or break even so that you don't get caught in the whipsaw back to the, the two bar to the uh, to the, the the two bar Charlie look at that uh, that BS wave two bar Charlie um, those you know you know I'm talking about the BS 2 BC look at that and you'll see where that swing back is going to be on that GDX so uh, you know what you need to do all right same thing for the GDXJ don't panic well supported at 4586 today you hit the 4705 uh, getting close to it but you still got time away from it you get a low so for 47.9 so you still are doing okay um, not nothing to panic about alright 47.05 should hold on this one but if you're gonna panic go ahead and panic do your thing I can't stop you but again those of you <laughs> who do what we do uh, you, you know, you, you, you conservatives, you are already short the GXJ on the real, but like I'm going to tell everybody else, I'll tell you, watch that, that, that whipsaw back to the BS2BC because you know how these markets do and you got to keep a, a close lid on this one, all right? These miners, you know how they get down, so moving on. All right, looking at your SIL, looking at your uh, your silver silver uh, juniors here, well supported at forty seven ninety two. I showed you that. I just want to show you this again. This gap needs to be filled, and fifty thirty eight is where you're going to need to watch on this one. Junior uh, silver miner, same thing. Uh, this one's well supported at seventeen thirteen, and eighteen oh three is the uh, price momentum point you need to watch on uh, this one all right so that's all we got time for today so remember bulls make money bears make money and pigs get slaughtered so remember take what you can and give nothing back